everyone you're watching Retu fixes on this video i'm going to talk about how to fix if your computer is not going to sleep on windows 10 machine now if your computer is not going to sleep it will cause unnecessary power consumption so it is always recommended to make sure that your computer goes to sleep in case if you're not using the machine uh, for a pretty long time now there are a couple of steps which you need to try uh, to in order to fix a problem first thing is you will have to make sure the sleep mode is enabled on your computer in order to do that, what you will have to do is you will have to do a right click on the start button. Click on settings. Once on the settings page, you will have to click on system. Under system, you will uh, see an option which says power and sleep. Now under this section, uh, you would see uh, under sleep, it says on battery power, PC goes to sleep after 15 minutes. And when plugged in, PC goes to sleep after you can go ahead and select the time. So it is always good to go ahead and select these options. Make sure the sleep options are enabled on your Windows machine. Now, if, if I would have connected my computer or plugged in my computer to the power card, it wouldn't have gone to sleep because uh, it has been said that when plugged in, PC goes to sleep was set as never. So what I've done is I've changed it to 30 minutes. So what it usually should do is when I'm connected my computer to the power card and uh, if I'm not using the computer for a very long time, then it should go to sleep after 30 minutes. Now, even after, uh, so if this works, well and good. Uh, in case if this doesn't work, the next uh, option, what I would suggest you is uh, go back to the start menu again, go to settings. Under settings, you will have to go back to uh, system, the same option. Under system, you, would, you will have to navigate back to the uh, power and sleep. Under power and sleep, you will see an option which says uh, additional power settings. Click on additional power settings right under this section. Now here um, you would see an option which says change when the computer sleeps. Um, so you can go ahead and click on this settings. Under this section, you can uh, go ahead and check the box which says restore settings for this plan. So what you can do is you, if you go ahead and click on restore settings for this plan you may click on yes so it will restore the settings so by default if you look at the screen the numbers has been changed this has been changed to 5 to 10 minutes when it is connected to the battery and when it is plugged in um, it has been changed to 20 minutes from 30 minutes to 20 minutes click on save changes so once you do that um, what you can do is you can go ahead and check if your uh, computer if the sleep mode is uh, if your computer goes to sleep uh, after these settings now in spite of these settings if you're not able to uh, if your computer does not go to sleep mode uh, in spite of this there are high chances that your computer might have infected with the virus so it is strongly recommended to run a virus scan on your machine so using a windows defender so what you will have to do is you will have to open windows defender um, if you expand this uh, expand this you will see windows defender right under the section you can do a right click and click on uh, view security dashboard now once you have windows security windows defender open you may click on virus and threat protection once you click on this uh, you would see an option which says uh, in case if you have a um, third party scan a virus scan installed on your computer it would display right under this section in my case i have mcafee virus scan um, so in case if you want to navigate or uh, if you want to use um, your windows defender to scan your computer to do a periodic scan you will have to expand this option and click on turn on as soon as you turn on you would see a, a other additional option so under the scan option you can click on scan option and you would uh, you might have to select the option which says micros defender offline scan so some malicious software can particularly uh, difficult to remove from your device microsoft defender offline can help to find and remove them using up to date threat definitions you may go ahead and click on the scan and click on scan now so run the scan thoroughly on your machine and see if there is any uh, malware or virus um, affected on your computer once you run the scan um, restart your computer check if your computer is going to sleep mode now in spite of all these settings um, even if your computer does not go to um, sleep mode the next option would be to go ahead and remove all the peripheral device that is your external device it could be a webcam if you have an external webcam 
or a printer or a SD reader or a USB um, cable if you have any of these device connected try to disconnect it from the machine and see if um, any of these devices are uh, making the computer not to go to sleep more and see if that works in case if you have a DVD or a CD drive make sure you don't have um, any of these uh, CDs or DVDs inside the drive so you can check if this works in case if uh, um, in spite of all these even if this doesn't work um, the next option or a next step what I would suggest you to do is to go ahead and disable the hybrid mode so in order to do that you will have to do a right click on the start button go to settings under settings you will have to go to set system under system you will see an option which says a power and sleep you will have to go ahead and click on power and sleep and then click on additional power settings on the right hand side on this window under the uh, once you click on additional power settings in the top right corner um, you will see an option which says select the preferred plan um, under this section so so under select the preferred preferred power plan uh, you might have to go ahead and select the option which says balanced or recommended or else uh, in case if any of the plan has been selected what i would suggest you is to go ahead and select change the plan settings under change the plan settings um, you will have to click on uh, changed advanced power settings right under this section click on this and under under this section you would see an additional menu for power option now you will have to select uh, if it is in the preferred power plan in my case it is Dell so in, in your case it could be either balanced or if it is an HP machine you would see HP or any of the computer make so in my case it is uh, I'm on the Dell active plan so here under the option which says allow if you are you will have to make sure it is on a specific power plan and here you will see an option which says sleep so expand sleep and here uh, you would see an option which says allow hybrid mode so make sure it has been turned off so in case if it is on you will have to click on the drop down menu make sure it is turned off for plugged in and on battery now this will go ahead and disable the hybrid mode now check after trying this step click on apply and then click on ok see if your computer goes to sleep mode now in case if this doesn't work um, the next step would be to go ahead and change the advanced power settings so in order to do that you will have to do a right click on this start button again go to settings go to system under system you will have to go back to power and sleep once you click on power and sleep you will have to click on additional power settings at the top right corner now in case you will have if you are on a specified power plan you will have to go ahead and click on change plan settings here so in my case i'm on a dell power plan um, so what i'll do is i will click on change power settings under dell now under this section you will see an option which says changed advanced power settings click on this now here um, you would see an option which says uh, multimedia settings you will have to go ahead and uh, select multimedia settings here you will have to scroll down a bit and expand multimedia settings under multimedia settings when sharing media you will have to make sure allow the computer to sleep so make sure and uh, allow the computer to sleep so in my case prevent idling to sweep uh, sleep so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select and allow the computer to sleep under both the settings here so and then click on apply and okay so then go ahead and reboot your computer check if your computer uh, goes to sleep mode um, af after trying or after enabling these settings so this should um, fix the problem in case if you're still facing a problem I would recommend you to go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment section I so that I can come up with a possible solution I hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day